Oh, hey there, everyone. It's that time of the year. 86 box yearly guide. And uh, we're going to be starting off with Linux this time around. I'm showing you guys how to install 86 box 4.0 on Ubuntu. It also applies to basically every other Linux distribution. It's pretty straightforward. And the first step, obviously, is going on your web browser of choice, going on github.com slash 86 box slash 86 box, where you're gonna fetch 86 box and the runs. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we are on 86 box, github.com slash 86 box. And here you have the emulator itself, which we're gonna need, obviously. The ROMs, which we're also gonna need. Uh, first of all, the, the emulator, because why not? So we open that new tab, choo choo choo, click with passing. I mean, you could use the release as well, but we wanna go with uh, the bleeding edge. Why not, right? So we're on a 64 bit install of uh, Linux, so we're gonna go with that x64. If you're on a 32 bit, you get the 32 bit one, and so on. Then let's download that. Should be fast. There we go, fast and easy, pretty nice. That's our emulator right there. So it's downloaded, perfect. Now we need the ROMs. So we go back to 86 box, github.com 86 box, go on ROMs. You could download the release set or the current set, which uh, differs much because November, six months ago, uh, it's almost the same. Let's download it from here, it doesn't matter. You go download the zip. Righty, and then just like that, we have the ROMs master downloaded as well. So now we head on to the downloads folder where we have the ROMs master file, which you're gonna need, and the app image for uh, 86 box with all the dependencies and so on, everything you're gonna need to actually run the emulator all in one simple easy to use package which is quite handy honestly because installing 86 box on Linux at first was a little bit tricky you know um, and now you just have the convenience of just running the app image no compiling whatsoever just straight up as easy as you can possibly get so, first of all, we got to make it executable. So we go on properties and make it executable. Then we are pretty much ready. Oh, actually, we need the ROMs, obviously. So we extract the folder over to downloads. There it is. Then we rename it to ROMs. Perfect. Now we're all set. We can get rid of the ROMs master because we are ready to rock this baby. Uh, we open the terminal. Oopsie daisy. There you go. There's a terminal. Let me go see downloads where our 86 box is located at. Oh, we could also rename this to 86 box for convenience. That's a lot better. Now we already made it executable. So what we're going to do next is dot slash 86 box dot app image. And then we hit enter and look at the magic. Watch it happen. We have 86 box 4.0 in the flesh working just like that. No effort. It's as simple as that. We took what? Four minutes. Exactly four minutes from the beginning of the video to the first machine actually booting. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as it gets. Like I said, it doesn't get any simpler than that. It's very easy to have 86 box running on your computer. And there's absolutely no excuse to not have this fantastic emulator. So head on to github.com slash 86 box slash 86 box and download 86 box right now and enjoy peak emulation, peak accurate emulation on Windows, Linux, and I think Mac as well. Yeah, Mac. So um, yeah, that's it for the video. It's going to be a very short one. Just giving your eyes uh, the basic hand holding on how to install it, how to get it running. And then on the next video, we're going to learn how to make our first virtual machine, uh, our first um, emulated machine on 86 box. So I see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.